Hello and welcome to the February edition of A Difference of Opinion. Today we will be debating uh, whether students should be able to leave campus for lunch. Uh, Alex Opsal and Jack Hudson will be de our debaters. Uh, Alex Opsal, can you start us off? Okay, so first of all, I think it's common knowledge that um, a lot of students do leave campus for lunch anyway, even though it's not like technically allowed by the school. Um, I know I regularly see people with like well, a couple of days ago in my calculus class, um, Mr. Nichols found a student eating a cookout burger that was like still warm, and he's kind of upset about that. Um, so yeah, definitely people are already leaving campus for lunch, and so that poses two issues. First, a lot of students don't actually come back to class after skipping um, because they know that like if they come back, um, the administrators might see them coming back um, if they didn't already catch them when they were leaving. So. Um, or they just generally don't want to return, excuse me. Um, and then another issue is um, that of safety and that when we aren't aware of who's leaving campus, um, the administration can't know like who's off campus, for example, to like let people know if there's like a fire or like a lockdown um, in like a serious instance at school or even just like they're generally lack awareness of where students are um, and can't like tell the parents if they don't come back to school. Um, and so, uh, allowing or like sanctioning um, off-campus lunch could allow the school to better regulate students' locations and also um, ensure that they're coming back to class and that they can notify parents when students don't come back to class after they skip yeah. or after they leave, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a good point. A lot of students do leave, but I think like when they, they if, it's, if they're already off campus, it's just much, e much easier for them to not come back since they're not having to worry about like administration. If they're allowed to leave and they're not worried about someone stopping them, they're just going to go. And uh, it just makes skipping easier if they're already gone. And then talking about them, you said they like, if they're, if we know where they are and like keeping mm -hmm. them in check, I think like it's easier to keep in check, like know where they are if they're on campus. So if they, if we find a way, if we prevent them even more from, you know, leaving, then it might be easier for us to keep track of them if they're just, you know, not gone. Yeah. So I guess that comes down to like whether more people will skip yeah. um, if we sanction it. Yeah. And but I just think that if there isn't a great difference in numbers, it's better that we know like what restaurants or like students can like tell the school which restaurant they're going to um, to better track. Yeah. Them. And I, well, I think a, a, a big issue I have with students like leaving is they want better food because the cafeteria food doesn't always you know suffice. But I think that a lot of the restaurants that they go to aren't necessarily much better, like a Zaxby's or a Cookout or McDonald's aren't that nutritional. So if, this, if the school was able to just make their food better, it might prevent students from just skipping in the first place because they'll want to actually stay. Yeah, that's true. That actually brings me to another point I made in the article um, about school lunches not being, not respecting students um, with dietary restrictions either yeah. for religious reasons or if they're like gluten free because of celiac disease or something like that. Um, and so I guess that's one thing that the school lunches could solve for, but um, given that I think the school lunches, one reason they're not like healthy or super necessarily like incorporative of um, like a lot of different dietary restrictions, or like re um, respective of a lot of different yeah. um, dietary restrictions is because of a budget, like the budget that they have is really small, and so if they're unable to raise the budget, I think a cheaper solution would just be letting students go off campus, um, yeah. for example, if they left their lunch at home so they can ensure they're respecting those dietary restrictions. Perhaps maybe bring in the restaurants that the students are going to, to school, so maybe have like Zaxby's have a station in the cafeteria for where they can just give their sandwiches out. I don't know, it like, that would just knock out the problem of students leaving and wanting better food, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and I think another um, issue, though, that um, allowing students to go off campus for lunch would mitigate that that doesn't is, or that, like, um, not allowing doesn't, is that um, currently when there's issues with, like, the weather, um, if it's rainy or cold, a lot, like, the big portion of the student body who sit in the courtyard um, have to choose between either being in the library where they can't eat food or in the cafeteria, which I don't think has the capacity to um, like actually hold half the student body. Um, and so um, allowing students to go off campus for lunch or like and like sit in restaurants to eat would um, solve for the problem of students having to choose between yeah. like the crowded cafeteria uh, and the library. That definitely that's like a short-term solution, but maybe a long-term solution would be building up the school, you know, opening up more spaces to eat lunch. And then, um, yeah, I, 
yeah, it, it, and then you knock out the risk of having random people coming on your campus with students. You know, if I just bring a friend back and I don't like my school doesn't know who he is, he doesn't go to my school, then it just opens us us up to more risk. I think. Yeah, um, and I think we could address that risk by again, like something that is unreal or like not um, quite related to off-campus lynches, which is just increasing security around the school, yeah, making sure like one of the bigger issues. we have cameras near the doors or. Um, like yeah. metal detectors that work or things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for a Difference of Opinion February edition. Uh, this has been Alex Opsall and Jack Hudson. Thank you. Thanks.